Porto starting to treat us like a big team. Now it's down to Arteta now. Have that change of mindset. The players have that change of mindset. Go play your game. No matter where you are, play your game. This is something I wish Arteta could copy from Wenger. Play your game. Don't let no one intimidate you. Don't let no one try to get you to change your game plan. Boy, I feel disappointed. I feel really, really, really disappointed in Arteta and the boys. I feel very disappointed because I expected so much more from them. And I'm disappointed in different levels. First of all, shambles. Everyone was shambles. To be fair, Raya was the only one I see in this match that played okay. <laughs> And then in the final lot, literally the final kick of the match, he could have done better. He could have. Even though it was a brilliant shot by Porto, he could have done better. But I have to start by saying Porto played well. I don't want to take away nothing from Porto's performance. They played absolutely brilliant. However, I don't really care about that. Even though Porto... And <laughs> I'm disappointed, but I'm, I'm happy at the same time. Hear, hear me out, hear me out. I know lots of you are basically screaming right now, screaming at me. Listen, just hear me out right now. I'm disappointed in the way the boys played. I'm disappointed in the results. I'm disappointed in Arteta's um, basically display. And tune in tomorrow, I'll show you about between 7 or 8 o'clock tomorrow. I'll break it down to show you why I believe that Arteta made a fundamental error in this game. This, this game was not set up like he wanted to win it. And it's harsh to say that, and it's difficult to hear as an Arsenal fan. I think that Arteta intentionally set up to play. And if you listen to the commentators, they, they understood what, what was going on, but they didn't. They're not looking at it like an Arsenal fan would. They're saying that Arsenal is managing the game. Arsenal is controlling the game. Those two words are... Listen throughout the season. When the, when the season start, up until the, in the, the last, ma last match in December... How Arsenal's gameplay has been described is managing games and controlling games. Everyone can say, from the season started, we've been poor in attacking form compared to last season. Now, why do we expect any better? It's the, if, the, if we're doing the same thing we were, controlling and managing game, this is exactly what's going to happen. We're not going to be scoring goals. So, I know that Arteta intentionally set the team up to be controlling to be um, managing the game. And I understand that philosophy. However, you this is the Champions League. You can't be basically playing scared. For me, that's playing scared. You're playing scared. I understand that you, you have a certain way you want to play against certain teams and away from home. But man, I believe God, they play your game. This is why something I loved about um, Wenger. Wenger don't care who he's playing against, where he's playing. He's going to go and impose his gameplay. Sometimes it's at his own detriment because he hasn't got the type of players in the team that can keep up with that level of performances. But Arteta does. The only thing that we've been missing is a striker. And so far, Trussard has been doing the job. So why not continue to play how you've been playing? Why are you tinkering things? And you might say, oh, the team the lineup is the same, but how, they, how they've been playing in the past few matches compared to how they play tonight is completely different. The, as what I said, tune in tomorrow and I'll show you why. But I also have to be a bit proud. The reason being, we're on the level now. We're on levels. I didn't expect this from Porto. I did not expect Porto to I expect Porto to come dominate at their home. Come to impose themselves. Come to dictate the match. To go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Arsenal. And the keeper, basically the keeper has been proven right that listen, Arsenal need to come and show us why they're the favourites. He's been proven right. I feel ashamed right now. Because I see that and I'm getting gassed up and the players look like they, they didn't even care. In the final third, I'm going to show you in the, in, in, in the clips, clips tomorrow. I'm going to show you. In the final third, everyone was just walking. Walking back. This, even the last match, you see Odegaard sprinting back making challenges. Saka sprinting back making challenges in the 90th minute. Uh, uh, Martinelli sprinting back making challenges in the 100th minute of the last match against Burnley. Now, you might say it's Burnley. It's not about the team. It's about the commitment in defending 
as a unit, not willing to concede any goal. This match, you can see the players walking, just strolling, jogging back. Some are walking, some are strolling, some are jogging. Well, the, 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 the defensive of I see Declan Rice is to be blamed a bit because he should have been and um, went to the ball more. But to be fair, Declan Rice and Raya for me was the two be be better players on the pitch under the, under the, there, apart from those the, that goal that was conceded. Both of them could be at, at fault for that one. But man, disappointed. But as what I said, the fact that Porto start to respect us so much that they're playing like a Premier League team, and when I say a Premier League team, I don't mean a Premier League big team. I mean a Premier League bottom club. That's how the bottom teams in the Premier League play, like how Porto play on the counter attack. The reason why Porto was successful is because they have a better attackers. They have better attackers, more uh, um, att more attackers with pl um, pace and skill and trickery than the bottom uh, teams in the Prem. But apart from that, it's the same st strategy. Looking to park the bus, counter attack. It's the same strategy. And Arteta for me is so disappointed because it was like you're matching blow for blow. This is not the Arsenal way. So this is why I'm, I'm disappointed in Arteta. I'm disappointed in the players. However, on the other hand, I'm happy with how teams are starting to recognise the quality of Arsenal and starting to basically play defensive against us. Because I expect every team in the Champions League to be coming toe-to-toe -to -toe with us. And this is why I said we've got a bigger chance in the Champions League than in the Premier League. Because in the Premier League, people are going to look to shut up shop and try to stop us from scoring and try to get those little one nil wins on the counter-attack and things like that. But who... <laughs> Surprise, surprise, Porto, big, big, big Porto. Oh, this this legendary club in the Champions League. What the fans I can see the, the trolls are already out on Twitter. I can see. The trolls are out, mate. They're coming for us, Arsenal fans. They're coming for us. And me predicting 4-0, man. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. So this is it, man. The boys disappoint me. Or I tend to disappoint me. But I find hope in the fact that Porto starting to treat us like a big team. Now it's down to Arteta now. Have that change of mindset. The players have that change of mindset. Go play your game. No matter where you are, play your game. This is something I wish Arteta could copy from Wenger. Play your game. Don't let no one intimidate you. Don't let no one try to get you to change your game plan. I understand that you're kind of a manager like to tweak things. But don't touch something that's not broken. Especially in the Champions League. Play how you've been playing. You, We've been playing so good and collecting points. So uh, overwhelming team. We didn't have a shot on target. We had seven shots and I had to say four. Because three of them wasn't in open play. Only four shots was open play. So I have to say four shots. I'm not even counting set pieces that led to a shot. I'm counting open play. Four open play shots for the whole match. Not even one on target. I think this, this hasn't happened in two years. Not one shot on target. There's nothing else to say, man. I know we got Newcastle. We got Newcastle on the weekend. Boy, I'm telling you, I'm not I'm not confident for that one. I know this might sound reactionary, but you have to understand game football is a game of confidence. And right now we ain't got it. See Liverpool won 3 1 against Luton. Luton was winning, 4-1 I think, they came back and scored another one, 4-1. Luton was winning, Liverpool came back and scored four goals. That's the making of champions. And right now, I, can't, I don't know how we're going to beat Newcastle on the weekend because now I know the team's going to take a knock off this, I know it. I know Arteta is going to try his best to get, give them confidence, give them hope to go into, uh, into that match, but I'm not confident for that match. So, boy, that's, that's, the, that's the video there, guys. Disappointed on the other hand, but on the other hand, I see hope. Because I see teams are starting to um, be scared of us in Europe. Not just in the Premier League, but in Europe as well. So, tune in tomorrow, guys, as I break down this appalling display. And how, why I blame Arteta mainly for this match. Catch you in the next video. Make sure you like, subscribe and share. Goodbye.